All right, so in this video, I'm going to introduce the first set of tabs on the uh, Blackboard course. Okay, so this is your home page. It should look like this. And you can see uh, there's a set of tabs here on the left-hand side. And then there's the, the home page content here. Um, yes, this is a picture that actually I took um, on a gondola in Lauterbrunnen, in Switzerland. We will actually be there um, at one point in our journey. Um, it's included in your travel cost. Okay, so let's um, look at these first. First, you got your home page. So anytime you're on Blackboard, you want to go back to this home page, you click the home page. Um, here's a discussion board. Um, if you, uh, as you know, a lot of the content you'll be doing on your own uh, and on your own time. So if you encounter a question, you know, something, excuse me, if you have a question about something in the course, you can use this discussion board. So this is just a discussion board. So if you just click on the discussion board here, and then you click create thread, and then you can, you know, type in the subject, question on whatever, quiz three, and then you type in your message here, right? And then you post it. So once you hit submit, um, it'll post it to this discussion board. So I'll just do that. You see it shows up. Um, and the really nice thing about this is there's a couple of really nice things. First of all, um, everybody can see this, okay? And so if you have a question, there's a pretty good chance that someone else has that question. So if you do have a question, I do suggest that you go to the discussion board first before you ask anything. Uh, secondly, I get, I'm actually subscribed to this, so I will get an email notification when you post to the discussion board. And so this is a really good way for me to um, quickly know if you have a question, and then I will go in here and type the answer, and that way everybody can see the answer. You are more than welcome to answer questions from other students. Um, I do want you to subscribe to the discussion board, so in order to do that, you just click the, click the subscribe button. And now anytime anybody posts, um, you will receive an email through your Delaware Tech email as well. Um, and it doesn't happen very often, so it's not gonna flood your in inbox with emails. All right, so that's the class discussion board. So now we have our sch uh, schedule, syllabus, and policies tab. The course schedule, you do, um, to access it, you just click on that link. And this is a Google Doc. Um, I'm not going to go over this in full detail, um, but it's pretty straightforward. We have 15 weeks of the semester. Um, this is the date of Monday of that week, the topic for the week. The homework that you have for that week, it's usually, you can see it's pretty much all lesson quizzes. Um, and then if you have a, an additional assignment, um, mostly labs, they're listed here. And then the assignment due date, note that this is the due date for all of the assignments that week unless otherwise indicated on the schedule. So basically what it boils down to is you're going to have an assignment or two each week and it's going to be due on the Sunday at the end of the week or at the beginning of the next week, however you want to look at it. Okay, so the week one assignments are due the Sunday right before week two or the first Sunday of week two. Okay, and there'll be some other notes here, like when we have our face-to-face -face meetings, they're all listed here. We have actually the flight um, times, uh, departure and arrival times here. Um, and so everything's here on the schedule. If anything changes, I'll update you uh, and let you know. So the syllabus is here. Again, you can click on this. I'm not gonna go over this. Um, you're welcome to do that on your own. Um, Okay, so you can go over that. Um, the course policies are really, these are really important. You will have to go over these when you do your orientation quiz, so I'm not gonna go into great detail here, but it shows you the grading system, um, the grading policies. So it looks like I have a lot of assignments, but um, a lot of these are really short ones, like these presentations are pretty short. Um, you can see that quizzes are only worth about 25% and labs are only worth 10%. So the bulk of the, your points in this course are based on your blog and these assignments, your final presentation. Um, so if you're not doing you know, incredibly well on some of your quizzes and labs, don't worry about it. You have a lot of points to make up. Um, the late policy, you're gonna have to read that. Make sure you adhere to that, that's important. Um, we have our assignment descriptions here. Again, I'm not gonna read through these. Um, I want you to read through these in the orientation. Um, and then there are general policies, academic integrity. I do wanna highlight that, that we do take that very seriously here. So um, plagiarism, if you're copying with you know something from the internet without attribution or you're copying someone else's work we do take that very seriously and there will be uh, repercussions um, if you do have comments on the course i do uh, encourage feedback um, i'm an open book you know so just if, if there's anything that you uh, want to address please address it with me first if you don't feel comfortable you're more than welcome to address it with my uh, department chair whose contact information is listed down there 
Okay, here's your grades. So your grade book is here, pretty straightforward. Um, and then last tab here is this travel info and assistance. So I do suggest that you go through that. I actually have um, links to the Google Maps of all of the places that we'll be staying. Um, there's a really good free German language website here as well. Um, all of the places that we go are in the German part of Switzerland, and I'll get to that in a little more detail when we have our face-to-face -face meetings, but you don't need to know the German language at all, but it's always nice to learn some of the native language when you're there. So I do suggest that you explore these, and you can kind of mess around on the maps uh, and see where you're uh, going to be going. Okay, that's it for this one.